The sixth, the state Supreme Court is siding with Governor McCrory, saying the General Assembly overstepped its bounds. The ruling involves the creation of the commission that oversees a cleanup of coal ash across the state. WNCN investigates Jonathan Rodriguez is live in the studio with more on what this means. Sean Sharon, it's not often the Supreme Court rules that the General Assembly violated constitutional protections, but in this case, they did it. It involves a timeless separation of powers. I'm not happy with the commission, and we're probably going to have to do a constitutional challenge to that commission. And that's exactly what Governor Pat McCrory did in 2014 after lawmakers created this group, the Coal Ash Management Commission. Its role is to oversee coal ash cleanup efforts across the state independently from state environmental regulators. The governor filed a lawsuit against state leaders over who should maintain power of the commission. NC State political expert Andrew Taylor says it's unique. Governor McCrory um, and uh, President pro tem of the Senate, Phil Berger. These are two massive heavyweights in state politics of the same political party going up against each other. The commission has nine members, three chosen by the House, three by the Senate, and three chosen by the governor. The dispute was really over who can appoint people to those commissions. McCrory argued that people making the laws shouldn't have the majority vote in choosing a commission who carries out the law. There are so many commissions being formed with total independence and if those commissions start doing bad jobs, there's no one in control. The state Supreme Court agreed saying the General Assembly exerted too much control and prevented the governor from doing his constitutional duty. He has a constitutional duty to make sure the laws are faithfully executed. A majority of those commissioners should be appointed by the governor rather than the General Assembly. Senator Phil Berger issued a statement saying he's disappointed but respects the court's responsibility. The governor thanked the court for sorting it out. As for the six commissioners the General Assembly appointed, it's still up in the air. Lawmakers say they're reviewing the ruling and will make a plan soon. Sean? All right, Jonathan.